Today I'm going to be talking about the attribute of God. God is the master planner, which means one who has the perfect program or method worked out beforehand. That last word is so good, beforehand. Our God is not one who just goes with the flow and whatever happens, happens. That's such the way of the world. But that's not how God operates. He has a perfect plan for us and for the world as a whole. And it's not in a manipulative, manipulative way. He gives us free will and the freedom to choose. But as we choose Him and seek Him and love Him, He and His desires become our desires. His plans become our desires. And we want the master planner to have the plan, His perfect plan over our lives. We can think of Abraham and Sarah, for instance. God promised Abraham and Sarah a son, and they were so excited for what God had planned for them, but as they had to wait and as Sarah got older, they lost trust in the plan, and they decided to make their own plan. And because they chose their own plan and way, there was hurt and struggle and frustration within their family. They had their eyes fixed on the end result of the plan rather than on the master planner himself. And that's why we need to choose to trust who God says he is because he never changes. We change, we trust God one day and then we don't trust him the next day. But God's character stays the same. And we can trust his perfect plan because he's done it for those before us. He's doing it for us and he's going to continue to do it for our children, for our grandchildren, and those way beyond us. His plan is perfect because he is perfect. He has already worked it out and he holds the victory. Go ahead and read the scriptures for God is a master planner and then go into your time of prayer.